Welcome, Gunner fan. Um, I'm playing a new game called Frost Kiss. I think it's called. Let's see. Yes, it's an old style of game. I tell you. It's items. All right. So let's go into the room. Um, we're investigating a murder, I believe. Deputy Hill. Detective Sarah Fitzgerald. This is Inspector Philip Moore. It's a pleasure, mate. I don't know why he's Australian. Oh boy, am I glad to see you two are here. Really, really strange things have been happening here. So sad. You folk had a long drive over. I'm sure you're tired and want to get some sleep. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Get some sleep tonight and move as fast as you can. I promise you after you see the file you won't be able to know. You won't be able to. I know I sure as hell can't. Okay then. Just came to welcome you to Silver Creek Falls and make sure you were fine. Just mosey on over to the concierge over there. She will give you your keys to your rooms. Shall I meet you here in, at the lobby tomorrow morning? Let's say about 8 a.m. Perfect. See you then, deputy. Dude, this, this game is like... Ah, uh, Deputy Hill told me, you could, he told me he's checked us in already. Yeah, here's your room keys. It's most room most of the lift. Thanks. I think I'll have a drink before I sleep. How about you? I'm tired from the drive. I think I'll head up. Sorry I made you drive all the way. Still haven't learned how to drive on the other side of the road yet. Okay, this begs some investigation. This is definitely a TV. It's tired. I am still tired. That sucks. This is a pretty quiet game. Let me tell you. Day two. Alright, let's go. Let's see what's on the TV. Deputy Philip, good morning. Morning, Sarah. Morning, Detective. Wanted to talk to you guys before we got out. Then look at the three crime scenes. We've seen crime scenes before. We know what they're doing. Not like this, I promise you. I well, may be a small damn deputy. But I can promise you now that you've never seen anything like this. Okay, bring it on. Before we start, where's the sheriff? Um, well, um, I don't know exactly. What? After he put in a request for seasoned homicide and missing persons detectives, he went missing. 
Does Captain Pendleton know this? Nope. What the hell? Calm down, deputy. Let me ex let me guess. It wasn't the sheriff who put in the request, right? No, sir. It was you, right? Yes, sir. Got a lot of explaining to do, buddy. This kind of stunt can get you suspended, you know. Sir, please. Getting angry won't get us anywhere. Young man, explain yourself. With the sheriff gone, what choice did I have? I've only been in been on the been in the forest for three months. I thought this job was going to be easy. That's why I took the job in the dead end town. Suddenly, people are going missing left, right, and center. If you'd seen the things I'd seen, man, breaks into tears. <laughs> Max kid, what's your name? Mike. It's okay, Mike. Hey, you weren't expecting to see things like this. But you're the sheriff. You're the sheriff now. You're in charge of this town. Now, why did you use the sheriff's name to request reinforcements? Because if I had used mine, no one would listen. Sheriff Lee Davis was a respected lawman. He was even invited to the high commissioner's birthday. Now he's missing. Look, I need your help to solve this case. I don't know what I'm going, what I'm doing. I came last in my class at the police academy. Only Sheriff Davis was kind enough to take me. Have you been to his house since he disappeared? No. My God, amateur. How long has he been gone? Two days. Well, Mary Poppins, here in America, we don't solve all our problems with a spoonful of sugar to help the medicine go down. <coughs> Can I please only talk to the British guy? <laughs> it's probably or something by the concierge. <coughs> oh, she just got told. Morning, ma'am. Hope you slept well. Like a baby, thank you. God, I wish that cat would shut up. Okay, W show us crime scenes. My car's parked outside, shall we? Sure, let's go. Okay, then here's the map of our town in case you feel like walking around later. Let's do the scenes in chronological order. First, the house on Fisher Road close to the end of Washington Avenue. Looks like a slaughterhouse. I'll give it to you, Deputy. This is one of the worst crime scenes I've ever seen. What can you tell me about the people that lived here? This is a house with sorority. Pi Kappa Beta. It was quite popular sorority in a local college. Oh, rephrase. It was a sorority for the popular girls. All the girls that lived here were doing modeling work. Well, we wouldn't have done any forensics as we don't have that capability. There's no force entry. It could be a possibility. 
but the sheriff thought it was unlikely. How many girls lived here? Four girls lived here, but five disappeared. Tried to confirm this with blood samples. Don't really have the tech here for it. Besides, it's all mixed. Fifth one disappeared too? Yeah, she was a number. She was a member of the sorority, but didn't live in. Neighbors reported hearing loud singing and chanting on the night that it disappeared. Freaked them out, so they called the sheriff, so I asked them to quiet. I asked them to quiet down when we got there. We found everything the way you see it now. The sheriff and I took photos and some small samples, but everything is more or less the way we found it three days ago. Understood that you would take a look around and get some blood samples and search the search for evidence. Oh my goodness. What is it? It's a Ouija board. Ugh. Stupid kids shouldn't mess with things they don't understand. Jeepers. This place is a horrible mess. Another blood sample. Hole in the floor. Well, no, it's one that was here before all this happened. Another blood sample. Another blood sample. Another blood sample. Another blood sample. This place really reeks, but it's not your just your typical corpse smell. Yeah, it's a very strange smell. There's definitely some ammonia around. Not just ammonia, burnt hair smell this place really creepy. Ooh. What the? Well, that was crazy. More blood samples. A book. Alright, I don't think we need to take that many blood samples, really. Wait. There's something over here. Nothing of interest. Book on witchcraft. What the hell are these kids trying? So do you think these big ass holes might have something to do with this? Maybe. This house does look pretty old, but it's, if something, uh, someone or something made a hole that big, I don't want to meet them. Read note? Hmm. Nord of sorts. They laugh, they sing, they dance, but when... With who? There were six in this party, not five.
Next up. <coughs> Doesn't really tell you where I'm going. I've never heard of it before. Oh, uh, it's probably because they changed the name recently. It used to be called Nawadi Yamea. That's for What language is that? Cherokee. Land used to be. Used to belong to the Cherokee tribe, but they sold it off years back. It's old. When? Not as long ago. Founder of Jibdai Schwartz bought most of their land and created a town. How much did he pay? Let me guess. He swapped it all for a few shiny beads in a mirror, right? Not quite. He paid them 50 stallions, 130 rifles. He didn't buy all their land either. Just the land between the west and the creek in the mountain. Bought it by some venture capitalist. He walked alone in the forest to become one with nature. He got his wish. That didn't sound very nice. I think we did.
Okay, back off to the next one now. Oh my. Uh... Young rush as if they look, if they lack time. But if you rush too much, you risk losing all your time. Hmm. Well, I think we can uh, end it here. This first look at this. Uh, so that's the three scenes, right? Yep. Hmm. It isn't all prior piecing together. Did Lee Davis keep any of his case files or notes or photos in the office? Most of the time, last I saw he wanted to take this stuff home to study it. <coughs> I have spare keys you want to see the, if he left. The files in the house. I think we can learn more if we get access to his case files. Notes. Let's go. That was crazy. Alright, let's go through here first and then. Let's go through this and see what's here. Um, and then we'll call it.
Nothing important there. There's a key. I'm in America, I have to. Well, if that wasn't cliche, I wouldn't have, I don't know what it is. Want to know the truth? John A very strange, strange game. So, it's kind of an... Wow, that's a lot of weapons. Anyway. It's kind of interesting.
Okay, so let's end it here and uh, we shall pick it up tomorrow. And we'll save. So, hope you all have a great day. Uh, see you in the next one. This is a very weird game. <laughs>